only we could stop the suffering. Maybe we can. I came not just to meet you. I was sent to look for a messenger of my lord, Earl Robert. Here? In Kingsbridge? Farmers said the messenger was heading for Kingsbridge two weeks ago. The knight was carrying a confidential document that might change the course of the conflict. People here trust you. Maybe the monks here know something? We will find him. One more thing. No one can know why we're looking for the knight. All of us. Because... Because God created us in His image. That's why we can all pray to Him. Brothers, have you two heard about a knight visiting Kingsbridge? The Earl of Shiring was here, and some of his knights. And many other nobles, at Christmas. It would have been a lone rider, a messenger. I don't think so. If someone had come to Kingsbridge, Brother Paul would have seen him. Uh, Brother Paul went back out to his toll hut. I see. Thank you. We don't need to go to church for that. No, we are the temple. Why a church, then? Hmm. This priory is so much bigger than our small cell in the forest. Philip! Brother Milius. Come! Warm yourself by the oven. Is that Philip? Tell him to warm himself by the oven. Thank you, Brother Cuthbert. I'm sure the Lord will forgive you for being attached to such a beautiful little part. I hope he will. Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer? that breaks the rock in pieces. Praise the Lord. Hard at work, as usual, Milius? I have to serve salt fish six times a week now. We hear you have fresh fish every day at your cell in the forest. Every other day we even have poultry. You have done wonderful work at St. John's, Philip.
We, on the other hand, had a weak prior for 13 years. May the Lord rest his soul. What you worked hard for at St. John's is wasted here in the Mother House. After the election, the new prior ought to put things right. Remedius, put things right. Maybe we underestimate Remedius. He's about to burn all the books and documents in the prior's room. Including the priory's ledgers. Remedius says James asked for everything to be burnt after his death. Except for his Bible. What? Without the ledgers, the priory's finances will be beyond saving. Was no one else nominated? Only Cuthbert. I refuse. I'm too old. No one else dares to follow in Prior James's footsteps. Not since he began talking to the devil. What? One day, he started talking to the devil, as if they were standing side by side. He was bargaining with the devil for his soul, whispering about his sins. His sins? Did you see a knight in Kingsbridge? You mean, aside from the nobles attending the Christmas service? No, I don't remember any knights visiting us. We'll talk more later. Brother Cuthbert. Ah, we were waiting for you. I hope you brought some of that wonderful cheese you make at St. John's. I... Uh, I gave it to one of your novices. Why would you do that? He said it's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. Greedy brother Marcus. You are too trusting, Philip. I'm sorry for how I talked to you about the Priory earlier. It's just that at St. John's, we worked hard to become self-sufficient. We have given so much to Kingsbridge, our mother house. And the Priory here is in a horrible state. Don't you think I know that? Ah. We should be rich. The Priory has much land and collects from many parish churches. But we are in debt. Our novices steal from us, Philip. The novices are stealing? Yes. Someone took my keys. Remigius blames me for losing them. But someone used them to steal food from the cellar more than once. Today, I found something missing again. Has there been a knight to Kingsbridge recently? Hmm. Milius, wasn't there a poor soul found dead before Christmas? I don't know if he was a knight. He was put to rest in the cemetery. The cemetery? That was the right thing to do. Let us continue another time, Brother Cuthbert. Of course. Ah, wonderful.
I always put some extra stones on the stove to warm up water. Put one in your pocket, and you'll keep warm. Who? Oh. Ouch! Careful, they're hot. Nice and warm, and I didn't burn my hands, Milius. I knew you could do it. Milius, why do you keep a beautiful pot like this around? Oh, it, uh, it reminds me that we should strive for order and beauty. I started collecting some seeds and nuts because I wanted to start a new garden. A good idea. I never got around to collecting more, though. If you find some, let me know. Brother Paul? Philip. Ah, ouch. Oh. What's wrong with your foot, Brother Paul? Oh, just a chill, Blaine. It will ease when the spring comes. You should have a fire. It's all right. It's not that cold. Don't take it lightly. Many will die this winter, for lack of food or shelter. Remigius thinks the Lord is testing us. Only the sinners perish. No, the poor perish. And those that he has freezing out here. Don't say anything to Remigius, will you? If he thinks I've been complaining, he'll be displeased. Here, Paul. Oh, ouch! Oh, <laughs> a hot stone! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's a mercy, Philip. Thank you. Remedia should give you a fire, or not have you sit here at all. I don't really mind. Winter is bound to end sometime. Philip, if you ever run into trouble with Remedius, be careful to answer him. Do not stay silent. Silent? Nothing makes him angrier than someone who doesn't answer. He becomes weak and defensive. It's not fitting for a sub-prior, let alone prior. What did you say again about Remedius' weakness? Nothing makes him angrier than someone who doesn't answer. Have you heard about a knight in Kingsbridge? A knight? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. He was just lying by the road, just a mile away from the Priory. He must have fallen from his horse. Where is he now? <sighs> he died. We buried him in the cemetery. Did he have a name? Did he say anything? Oh. He could not speak, but the look in his eyes told me he was afraid. I held his hand and prayed with him while he died. Did the knight have anything with him? Uh, there was a letter. I gave it to Prior James. Remedius will probably burn it with the rest of James's papers. James insisted that all his books and documents shall be burnt after his death. Except for his Bible. I heard about this. I think that would be unwise. 
Sometimes I wonder if it was because of that letter. A few days later, Prior James fell through the ice. Right here, Philip. Maybe I brought a curse on Kingsbridge. How could a letter bring harm? The word of God brings salvation. But what if the devil took to writing? What then? Hmm. Brother Arnaldus, how are you? Huh? What? How are you? Are you well? Oh, Brother Philip. Yes, I am well. It's just that the dead won't stay in the ground. What? The dead. It's probably those badgers always digging up the graves. My father gave the Priory a good deal of land to keep me fed. I won't eat salted fish all day. Me neither. Shall we go into the cellar again tonight? Yes, Brother Marcus. You still have old Cuthbert's keys? Indeed I do. I hid them right in the church. Stuffed them in the large crack in the wall. I could do some crack stuff in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could. May his soul rest in peace.
I asked not to be disturbed. Brother Remigius, I'm sorry I interrupted your service. You mean Prior James's service? Quite so. I heard he fell through the ice. Horrible. Yes. I was the one who found his rosary by the river. Now let me continue my work. Brother Marcus stole Cuthbert's keys. Brother Marcus. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. Theft is something we cannot take lightly.